Kili. Overmining the copper, they had to to damage the earth. Ah, uh, no, Every season, every season. That the river floods every season. So now, abakaya yu, ba wite bende ba biya yu, biya ba kabana yu, ba kabana yu, ebe mole, yiri yu mshangemba, ba yiri amagete, shangete, ba kaya shiri boya. So, yiri yiri bendo bende. That they get a lot of tourists that who go and visit Mount Renzori uh, just because they, it is very interesting. Like they find their good flowers that they can put in their clothes, uh, designs, mm. uh, their lakes, there are a lot of things. There is snow, mm. so that they experience a lot of uh, tourists who go, go to visit uh, Mount Renzori. <laughs> When it floods, it takes off their land and the, their animals and also causes death. Mm. Uh, that uh, right now it is early July and they are now expecting rain. Ah, what about we get up in the city where you are on the Renzori? Ah, what to go for Caravan and Boca Handbook? How will break out and no more walks and get them right? It's a game to be like a little thing. That for them they stay on the lowlands of Mount Renzori and the weather keeps on changing every time. So, uh, what I used to come up with Boca Satu. That from March up to May, that is heavy rain. 
the sun may rise from seven when it comes to midday it changes so okumukara ikumukomo nane ni ninanga ni mwisi then june july that is heavy sunshine and when it comes to one or two, then rain comes. Then that August, September, uh, that is again rain season. And now October, it intensifies. That when the rain comes, then they feel uncomfortable because it, it comes with coldness and also they get worried of the floods. So, uh, that uh, they normally experience more danger in May after heavy, uh, heavy rainfall has made mountains to fall down into the river and the river uh, uh, gets overloaded and the water floods. That is in May. They feel they are not peaceful because they are worried of the floods. So, okay, then, then that in that very month of May, uh, the river normally floods, it breaks the mountains, it breaks the trees, it, bre it destroys homes, mm. and it brings a lot of stones from Mount Renzori. Mm. Uh, that causes a lot of uh, displacement of people, destruction of homes, and uh, uh, death, of course. <laughs> Uh, that because of the fear of the floods, they even go a step ahead to cut down the trees so that they don't experience much rainfall as they fear the floods. So they cut down the trees to make charcoal and some firewood. Uh, that is, so many people have already shifted some have bought other places who, if they can and those who can't afford they're in camps and the others who can't afford totally they are still there on risk that people who stay near the river that they have decided to shift going up mountains so, so is appealing to government that if it is to help them they should come and uh, remove stones so that the water base can go down. And he's saying that one time they came to do it, but they started from the lowlands. His advice is the government should start from the higher lands, they deep remove the stones so that the water base can go deep down so that it doesn't flood to the people. <laughs> And others have gone to the camps, uh, those that their houses were destroyed and their land taken by the river, they are in the camps and the homeless. So, 
Musukau nunggu sura, orang 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 balik ni dah istirahat. Komen tak, komen istirahat. Orang ramai balik dulu, komen istirahat. Yeah, they feel that they don't have peace because the bridges they had, they were all swept away, and they are all the time worried of the floods of River Nyamwamba.